Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Magnus and first of all I would like to thank everyone that have subscribed in the last days. Um, we're up in 450 subscribers so that feels awesome. Um, and before we did talk about like smart console and we did do some stuff in demo mode, let's apply them in, in this lab instead. It's a little bit more fun. So we start with um, double clicking on the cluster under gateways and servers and you can see the cluster. Let's, um, let's start some blades. And keep in mind we are running on demo licenses so you can apply the, the blades that you would like to have and um, they will work. So application control, URL filtering, uh, where do we have IPS? Yeah that's under threat prevention. So IPS um, and we take it according to the threat policy and we also want antibot. Um, yeah that's it for now. Let's start with this. Network security, application control, URL filtering, uh, cluster Excel and IPsec VPN will leave as default. We will add some more stuff later, but let's start with this IPS and Antibot and then press OK. The platform administrative web portal URL in this platform portal is... Yeah, it's OK. All right. So here we see that we have some more active blades, but before it's actually activated, we need to publish it. And then we need to install the policy. But before that, we will fix that the security policy can actually use these blades also. So on the security policy, then we do we press on we press on the plus sign, and we take um, manage policies and layers. And here we have the existing policy, the standard one. We will take edit on this one and we will do like this. So you see here the little, I don't know, three stripes. Click on it and then edit layer. And we will add this one, application URL filtering. And we will also select this one, multiple policies and rules can use these layers. I don't know if there is anything in the advanced and so on. No. Press OK. And under threat prevention, we will do the same, edit, and uh, multiple policies can use this layer. Press OK. Let's see, do we have anything more? Well, we have the installation targets. We can be, I don't know, we can be nice. We can do like this, specific gateways. And we take our firewall one cluster and I guess we can rename the, the policy as well. A blocking validation error has been found. First threat prevention layer cannot be shared, okay. Then we don't share it. <laughs> so edit layer and we do that one, okay. And let's change the name of this. We call it, um, I don't know, corp. Main, of main office. Let's see. Okay. Why hasn't it changed the name? Let's see. Do we need to change it in a different place? Main office. Okay. Ah, now it changed. Main office. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Close and publish. And I forget one thing that is really important for the CCSA. You need to have a stealth rule. So let's make one. So we do like this firewall cluster and we do a drop and we do log and we call this the stealth rule. All right. Publish. Let's hope we don't break anything. I don't think so, but let's see. Um, well, we start like this and I will show you some cool things. So install policy. And this will say what? Uh, application control is not responding. Well, they don't know that they have application control yet. So install. Let's see if this um, works or not. Hopefully it does. 
And you see here, when you click on details, you have a lot more of this access control and threat prevention policy. So it's installing different um, sub policies, so to say. You can install the threat prevention and access policy separately if you want. Um, that can be good for, I don't know, IPS updates. Uh, I normally install it uh, all at once. So let's hope this is succeeding and that we don't kill our own access to something. It's okay if something breaks in the lab. That's why you have a lab, so you can try and, um, well, test things. 99% successful, so this will soon change to successful. Let's give it a few seconds more. Checkpoint isn't really fast when it comes to installing policies, and this is a really small policy. I mean, this is six lines. Okay, close. So I did install Google Chrome on this box, and um, let's just see if I can, yeah, I can reach it with HTTP. That's nice, HTTPS, I mean. So that's really nice, perfect. Let's see if we can still surf the web. Google, yeah, Google is working. So what can we do with all this cool stuff? Well, um, let's see like this. So application control, then you can, then you can limit like access to websites. So for example, Facebook, let's see if Facebook works. So Facebook is working and let's make a rule to, well, not allow Facebook anymore. So we take a minus here and we do like this. Uh, 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 how should we do this one? Um, we do it like this. So we do a new rule below and we will make this one to action an inline layer, new layer, web surfing uh, from clients. And we take in the application URL filtering here. Nice. And everyone can use, you can use this policy in multiple layers. Advance, we don't need anything. Yeah, implicit cleanup rule, that's good. Uh, nice, so okay. So we have a web surfing and that it will replace this one. So let's move this one up and we call this web surfing. And if it goes to any, let's keep that for now. We'll do it like this. We separate. Uh, different NTP and DNS rule. So move this up. And let's do like this, delete. So if this network goes to any with these protocols, uh, we need to do Above the cleanup rule, we need to do above. And let's do a drop, I don't know, Facebook. We do a drop log and we put in the service as Facebook. Facebook, perfect. And below that we do, uh, Permit any any here. Uh, permit all other. No. Permit web surfing. So, what does this actually say? Well, the web surfing rule will only be used if you come from this network and going to any destination with HTTPS and HTTP. And then we will, if we go to Facebook, like specifically Facebook, we will drop the traffic and everything else is permitted. 
and just to don't screw up anything specific here let's do like this um, any in this case is referring to that one but I think it's easier to or sometimes I think it's easier to just drag and drop this uh, like this so you see it easier but um, missing cleanup rule unmatched traffic will be dropped and not log ah that's not good so we need to log it cleanup rule perfect ah sorry we need to take away this one now it's a real cleanup rule so you see that if I push, pull this here it um, it's not acting like a cleanup rule so like this so publish let's see if this is working I hope so um, how do we know if this is working? Well, we test it. So, install policy. And one reason why it wouldn't work, for example, is if uh, the databases hasn't been updated. Um, but let's check on that later. First, let's see if this is working at all. Uh -oh. So, installing the policy, it's going Okay, 75%, nothing is broken, I do like this, and we are done. So let's try if it works. So here we have our web browser, and if we try to go to like YouTube, hopefully this works, this is working, and if we go to yeah, Google. Yeah, Google is working. So let's do Facebook. And Facebook is not working. So that's also so that's awesome. Our rule is actually working. And I don't know if if you really did see this. Um, I needed to re-record this part. But um, let's see. So here we have the, the the logs so if you go on the logs and monitor you can see there is a lot of red stuff here that's that drops but it's easier to do this i mean sure you, you can search for like the rule name and so on but the best one would be to go to search for your you can do like this you don't even need to have the 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 client so to say so blade application control and then action and drop and you see here, drop Facebook, and that's our 1015. That's about now, 1015 or 1016. Uh, yeah, I did try it before, but I needed to re record this movie. So, well, we have an additional log entry. Just uh, deal with it. It's working. So, here we have the, the Facebook, and we can see that it's um, going on this one. So, that's application control. We can see that it's drop and it has even been rejected when I did try before, but this is this is our part. And it was a session, it did came in on Ethernet 1, and Ethernet 1 is where we have our our uh, client, our Windows 10 machine. And the origin is from the, the checkpoint gateway 1, because that's the active member, and the source is from our client. And the destination was one Facebook server, and the uh, service was HTTPS. And let's, I need a bigger screen. And here we have also uh, application risk. So Facebook is considered a low risk because you can build a rule base based on application risk, like uh, let's say uh, team viewer or like remote desktop and so on. That has a high application risk because you can do bad things with it if you want and you see here also application network uh, application name and that's Facebook primary category is social networking and uh, the rule name is drop Facebook and we can click here and we get up more information um, the accounting part I'm not 100% sure if this is actually working um, perfectly I'm not sure um, sometimes this well it can give a hint at least but you can see like uh, what this Facebook actually for if you see some strange application 
uh, you can see when the session was it was less than one minute and it was dropped and the layer was called web surfing from clients and access rule name was called drop facebook and this is the rule name and you can see like the log server so there is a lot of information in the logs and you can of course trick uh, match rules and you can jump to this part so if you press here they change to this in the background so press here 5.1 it will change to 5.1 so it's really nice or at least i think so and if we hold here we can of course also press lock and we can see everything that was dropped on this specific line so play around with this it's um you learn a lot by playing around with this and do different rule bases. Um, it's a bit difficult if you want to do uh, um, the inform and ask because I believe that you need to have certificates more or less shared on your clients and on your gateway. So in this case, we just start with the drop and allow. Um, that's good for now. So that's it for this video. This was just to apply the, the knowledge that we already have from previous videos in a real lab environment so we can test it ourselves. And thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.